Okay, we're, we're in the Mechaber, page 170. Okay, 170 in the Shulchan Aruch. Hilchus Sukkah. Until now, we're speaking about where the branch was over the Schach Kosher. So we discussed that, but the Schach Kosher is, provides more shade than some. So we say if you intermingle, it's not a problem. But what happens if the branches don't go over the schach kosher, but they gaps, and it goes in between? Like there's a space. You have two bamboo poles, and you have three inches between. And the branches right over that space. Okay? Kshayra. Why? Because what invalidates the kosher schach? Because the kosher schach is under that branch. Being under the branch is a problem. Whatever, it's not under the branch. The branch is between the, the schach. So the schach itself retains its identity as kosher schach. Hold it, say, kosher Because factually, if the schach is kosher schach, because there's nothing over it, and the, and the shade that's being provided in the sukkah is coming from what? It's coming from kosher schach. So if that's the case, it's kosher shade. Shade that comes from kosher schach is a kosher sukkah. You following? Okay. Shafil me not only ilon, because even if you remove the branch, you remove the branch. Yeshir by kosher lachshir, the sufficient kosher schach to validate the sukkah, because the kosher schach is providing more shade than sun. Uvecholzel lo shine ilon ben kodem mi ilon ben kodem aschach dinechodem. Whether the tree was there first, the branch was there first, or the schach was either way, factually speaking. The schach that's providing shade is kosher schach because there's nothing over it. It's only in between it. And even if you would remove the branch, you will still have more shade than sun. And that's, that's an indication what's providing the shade, the kosher schach. As a result of that, it's kosher. So where is this branch? Then? This branch is in between. In between. And it's in what? In between. You have bamboo poles. Make right. it easy. Okay? Right. And there's three inches between the poles. Now you have your branch in between that pole. Not over the pole. Okay. So since it's not over the bamboo pole. Now, and now the sukkah provides, independent of the ranch, more shade than sun. So the shade in the sukkah, is it coming from kosher schach or not from kosher schach? It's coming from kosher schach. Can you sit under that branch? You could sit under the branch. It's not a problem. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. Well, we'll get to there later where you could sit under it. Because it's irrelevant. Of course, it's less than four twachim. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. We'll see. Let's see the Mishnah Bura. Stone on to keep it down, just to weigh it down. To weigh it down, we'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll speak about it. If it's something that's not not a kabul tumah, we'll, we'll talk about it. It depends what it is. Av liman nofim yud. Av myrish min nofim lo yetzel harbeg vechamosim ru mitzilosa. He says, the branch itself is not providing the shade. According to the opinion, we're saying if the schach would be over, the branch would be over the schach, the schach becomes invalidated. So I see the schach no better than the branch itself. So if I need that schach to provide the shade, it's a problem. Because the shade is coming from schach, which is not valid, because the branch is growing over that schach. We'll have to get there later. We'll get there later. We'll get there later. It's not relevant right now. Shafil mi not al ilon. Rechslom lo tikshi mai havi imanov kineger avir. 
Hello, Koporim, Sachon, Ehilon, Vaschach, Lasuka. Factually, like you say, you're sitting under the branch. The branch is in between the gaps between the bamboo poles. So factually, if you sit under that gap, you have the what? You have the, the branch above you, right? Means nothing. That branch, we look at as if it doesn't exist. Because factually, the shade that you have in the sukkah is what? It's coming from where? It's coming from the kosher schach. The tree, the branches themselves are not providing where you can have more shade than sun. Right? It happens to be there. Canal, see if you got you. Okay, we'll get there. We'll be more clarified later. You have a branch over the sukkah. Let's say it's on the sukkah and you just cut the branch off the tree now. Do we say cutting the branch off the tree? The discussion of the Gemara is like you put kosher schach now. What do we say? We have a, we have a principle taslov no osui. The Torah will give you an example. Um, I'll give you an example. You have to put a mezuzah on your doorpost, right? What happens? If you take a plank of wood, you attach a mezuzah to the plank of wood, and then you attach the plank of wood to a doorpost. It, it's not valid because Torah says tasef. You should put the mezuzah on the doorpost. Not you put the doorpost and has a, the doorpost has a mezuzah on, on itself, on the door, on, on the plank of wood. So we hear the Torah says, if the Torah says, put schach on the sukkah, right? When this branch was on the sukkah, it wasn't called kosher schach. Now by detaching it, snipping it from the tree, what did you do? You, you, something that wasn't kosher, you made kosher, but you didn't put it there because it was put there before. It became kosher. Give an example, another example. Let's, the way you make tzitzis, it says you should make tzitzis on the corners of your garment. What does tzitzis mean? Tzitzis means four long strings that you put through the corner and half hangs down on each side or a certain length hangs down on each side. Let's say you take a very long thread and you weave it through the hole multiple times. So when you put it in through the corner, it was one thread, right? One very long thread, which is the equivalent of what you need. And after he has it through, he loops it through, he takes a scissor, and he snips the ends. So now he has, he has four on each side. Is it valid? It's not valid. Because when you put the string through the corner, you only have one string. You have to put th- four strings through the corner, of the, co- uh, the corner of the corner, through the hole of the corner of the four-cornered garment. That's tasav nomen osri. You must make, put the string through the corner the strings, the number of strings that you're supposed to put through the corner, not after you put one string, the strings have to be there now. Okay? So that's the discussion with the, with the branch. So we say part of the is making that stuff, only that stuff. So you, you must make. We'll, we'll see in a moment. We'll see in a moment what the discussion is. Kotsa si ilod lachshiro. Liyos hu atzim li asichu. Kosher. See? He snips the branch to validate it, that now the is going to contribute to the sukkah. Whether it's either because the kosher schach wasn't not enough to provide shade, so I need it to, to, to complement the kosher schach, or it was above it, so now by snipping it, so it's kosher. When? Nano shiba kolechot levado. Umeinicho. You have to lift it up after you snip it. You have to lift up that branch, put it down. Valid. You pick it, pick it up, put it down. Vimlav, and if you don't do that, psula. It's not valid. Why? We'll see. It says tasa. You must make it, and what? And it should not come about by itself. Because here you never put the schach on the schach that was on the sukkah that was providing the shade. It wasn't valid schach. Cutting is not putting it. That the Gemara has a question. Is cutting putting or is cutting not putting? So the Gemara proves from a number of sources that it's not. Therefore, the conclusion is you have to lift it and put it down. Now, here's an interesting question. Let's you have a kosher sukkah. Kosher sukkah, and you have, let's see, you have what we call the schlock. The old days of Shlach was he had 
wood that would come down, cover the sukkah. Right? Today we call it an awning. Okay? When the sukkah, if the awning is extended, let's say you're a twin, the sukkah is not a valid sukkah. Right? It's not simple. If you would have the awning closed and you put the schach under the awning, everybody agrees it's not a valid sukkah. Because you put the schach on top of the sukkah when the warning was closed. Well, let's see, had a, the warning was open, you put the schach, now you close the warning. We'll see later. According to Rabbeinu Tam, it's, it's still considered valid, even though the warning is closed. Okay? Yeah, so the question is, let's say it rains. You close your warning, does it have any value to remain in the sukkah? Say, look, it's closed, might as well go in the house. Or we say, no, maybe it has some value to remain in the sukkah. Because even though it's closed, it may... According to some, still have the status of a kosher sukkah. According to Rabbi Tam, it's still considered valid. As long as it was made initially as a kosher sukkah, even though you closed the awning, it retains its... Yeah, it's kosher sukkah. Sukkah. See, that's, that's the discussion we have in the moment. If, if, in fact, when it's closed, it's not valid, it's not valid, so when you open it, it should be considered tassel and also, because if closing it is considered, the schach is considered, let's say, not valid, if theoretically would be considered not valid, so what validates the schach? Opening it. So we have, it's no different than snipping the branch on the tree. You should, every, every day you should have to lift the schach and put it back down. But initially you did put it down, so that... So that, that's the discussion we're having over here. Is there a difference between the branch, which initially was never kosher? See, here, the case where you have the branch growing over the, the sukkah, the schach in itself is kosher. You have something which is invalidating it. You have a problem. You remove it, you reinstating it to what originally was. It's called the problem. When you have the branch, it's not you have a problem, you have no schach. That's the difference. That's why... If you remove the branch, you don't have to touch the schach. But if you snip the branch, the branch that you snip has to be lifted and put back on the sukkah. So that's what he's going to say. Even if you remove it, the schach remains is valid. Even if you close the schlock, he speaks of the schlock, open it, it's not a problem. What he said, the Ramos says it here is not so simple. Not everybody agrees to this. Because I, I was speaking about a case. When you made this, the sukkah, the, the roof was open. Subsequently, you, you closed it. He's saying you could even initially build it under, under the roof, and then you open it. And, you have to, and then you have to, have to do nothing to the schach. See, that, that's not so simple. That's not so simple. Avomutala sukkah tachas mechuber, obayis, or even in the house, then you remove the roof. And it's not considered, it, it comes about, because the invalidation is not something innate in the schach. It was a side issue which invalidated it. So if you remove the problem, it's considered valid. Okay? No, no. We're we don't do this. Right, right, right. We usually, we, when we build the sukkah, we make sure the awning is open. We don't put the schach on with the awning closed. Not, not like the Ramah. Not like the Ramah. Is Ramah is much more lenient. So you wait till tomorrow. You want to be Yosel Chatchil or you want to be Yosel B'di Yavit? Yeah, I understand that. Brothers of Machmer. What's the swear of the others? I mean, you know, Ramon is basically saying that uh, this is not the Yosel is not the Schach. So because initially, if the Schach was kosher, right? This was put on kosher, initially. So if it was put on kosher, now you have an issue. Let's see, a branch comes over it. When you remove the branch, you're reinstating it to what originally was. You understand? The branch... 
but it, it, no, 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 no. But it was called put on. You put it on kosher. Yeah. You built the kosher sukkah. Something invalidated it. So when you remove the, the basis for the validation, it's reinstated to what you originally did. Well, why is it it's not invalidated? Everybody, let's see. No, 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 no. Why is that considered No. The branch growing over the sukkah. What's with the sukkah, the schach under that branch is called schach kosher, kosher or puzzle? It's puzzle because the, it's provide, the shade that's being provided now is for the schach that's under the branch. Right? So the shade now is called not valid shade. Correct? Now you remove the branch, now it's called valid shade. So you'd say, well, that shade now came about by itself. Right? Because it was a result of removing the branch. We don't say that. We say that the, the schach itself is valid schach, and since initially it was valid, so it was, if you remove the invalidation, it's reinstated to what originally was. What made it, what made it valid initially? What? what made it valid initially? Because it was kosher schach. It was kosher schach. Kosher schach. But when the branch is over it, the, the, the shade that's be, being provided by that schach is called tzel kosher or tzel posel. The shade is not valid it's shade. Right wait, 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 wait. What? but why is it not? Because it's coming from non-kosher schach. We see the schach is not valid. It's, it's the worst. It's the worst. Everybody, we're going now. You cannot sit in the sukkah with, with the shlach closed. Why can't you sit in the sukkah when the shlach closed? Stay in there. Go on, let's see what our Rabbeinu done. Right? But it's not a sukkah. No, because you're not sitting in a sukkah. Because it's closed. There's nothing wrong inherently with the sukkah. Same idea. Same idea. Same idea. Why is something in the chubber? Why? You're not in the sukkah. That's the same idea. Just as you have the roof, it's not called the sukkah. So the, the branch over, it's not called schach. It's also not called the sukkah. He agrees. The, if a branch is grown, just remove the branch. You could sit in the sukkah. You have to do nothing. Okay, so See, according to Ramo, you could build a sukkah under under an overhang initially of a tree, then remove the branch. In. Same thing. That that Ramo is consistent. But according to the Chumrah, you should first cut off the branch and then put the schach there. We're reviewing uh, my Ackerman's question now. So that's the question. Is that l'chatchila? Ramos says that's l'chatchila. Ramos says no problem. The others say it's better not to do that. It's better when you put it on, it should be the only, only should be open. No. No, 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 no. Everybody agrees if you're you put it on and then close the warning, open it, you have to do nothing. On top, then some say, the Ramos say, some say it's not good. Right, right. But again, but the ones who say it's not good, we don't follow that opinion. That's only, if you want to make it perfect, so then we address that, that opinion. Over it. Initially. No, but Afterwards, everybody agrees. You close. Open it. It's 100%. Not a problem. Not a problem according to anybody. Anybody. Right. Here we're talking about he built it initially under the awning. Or you built it initially under the tree. And then afterwards, you call the tree person to cut, cut off the branches. That's what we're talking about. Yes, Yeah. It's better than Nachman. Right, they're also they agree it's a chumrah, it's better. No comment, as they say. Sometimes silence is is is, is louder than words. Okay.